Hi, so this is going to be a fairly short video. Um, my name is Amanda Heath, for those of you that don't know me, the founder of the Thriving Artist Business School. This is a quick video about having a place set up all the time to create. Doesn't matter if it's a big studio, it can be a tiny desk in the corner of the living room, it can be on the kitchen table, which is where I started, lots of people do. It can just literally be having a sketchbook and some pencils and a small set of paints somewhere handy so that when inspiration, I'm going to correct that actually because a lot of the time we think we have to wait for inspiration to hit and actually it's about showing up consistently, not waiting for inspiration. So it's about having that consistent practice and showing up regularly to do the work. And if we don't have our things ready, daily life gets in the way and we're like, oh, it's going to take me an hour to set up and then it's going to take me and I've only got two hours it's not worth it I'll do it tomorrow tomorrow comes something else crops up and it gets pushed further and further back whereas if you have an area set up and you have your materials there ready to go you may only have half an hour but you're much more likely to sit down or stand and do whatever it is and just get that kind of hand-eye coordination going get the ideas flowing do some doodles you know just little small practices that keep you fresh, I suppose, and keep the ideas flowing. And a great idea I heard about the other week in one of the forums is a lady who had a box of art supplies in the back of her car or a bag. And so if ever she was out on a travel and she's like, oh, that's great, I love the light or I love this, she would stop and get out a sketch pad and a couple of paints or whatever materials she had. And it's there, it's accessible. And that's the thing, making your practice as accessible as possible so that you don't have the obstacle of setting up in order to then do something for the day. And even if we just put in 10, 15 minutes a day, it, and it's, that is easier said than done, then it keeps us um, consistent, it keeps us thinking, it keeps the ideas flowing, and also, you know, you don't have to have a four-hour session to create something interesting. You can sometimes sit down for 10 minutes and, and do something that's a bit of a happy accident and think, ah, I love that, that's something I want to take forward into a collection, but it doesn't happen if you're not there, ready and set up. So a quick video on having that space, doesn't matter where it is, doesn't matter about it being fancy or light or clean or tidy, anything like that, just have it and have your materials there, it's going to make all the difference. So if you would like more information, I've got a free masterclass. The link is somewhere around this video, up or down. Um, so if you click on that to register, and it's the four key steps to consistent art sales, along with the three biggest mistakes I see artists make quite often that are actually holding them back from making those art sales. So if you find the link around this video, click on that, register and have a watch. And that is all from me for now.